Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and today I will be teaching you how to automate the production of cobblestone, stone, sand, flint, and glass in a compact footprint using the mods Industrial Foregoing, Nuclear Craft, and Thermal Expansion. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to start with is a cobblestone generator from the mod Nuclear Craft. Now, there are a lot of cobblestone generators from different mods that you could use for this. I am using this because it doesn't require any power or anything, and it does produce a good amount of cobblestone. Uh, there is no GUI to this. This will just uh, output cobblestone automatically to any uh, adjacent inventory that can accept it. So what I'm going to use to accept the cobblestone are, is uh, the black hole unit right here. And black hole units are from in the mod industrial foregoing and they are fantastic for holding an individual type of item. In this case, obviously cobblestone. I have been testing this system so I already have a bunch of cobblestone here. As we can see, I have a lot of cobblestone and the cobblestone amount just went up a little bit. So now that I have my cobblestone, what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to make it into stone or at least some of it. So I'm going to put down a redstone furnace. Now you can use just about any type of furnace. Uh, you could use a regular furnace if you wanted as long as you uh, piped in coal automatically. But we are going to set the input from the left output to the right. And then in the right, we are going to have a black hole unit with uh, stone. And this will produce stone, at least theoretically. Uh, let me turn this on right here, the auto input, and there we go. We're now getting some uh, cobblestone in into here. So now we're making stone, so that's fantastic. Now over here on the other side, I'm going to get a pulverizer. Now you could probably also use uh, Sagmo from Ender.io. There are other machines you could probably use for this, but I'm using a pulverizer here. I am going to have it be auto input from the right. Uh, we're going to have two different outputs here, and that's because uh, sometimes we get a byproduct from cobblestone, and the product that we are looking for is gravel, and our secondary output is sometimes sand. So let's go ahead and get our sand black hole unit, and that will be back here. Uh, as you can see, I have much less sand than I do stone, and this whole system was together and running for a while. So uh, we're going to pr be producing a lot less sand than would be stone, but that's okay. I generally use a lot more stone than sand anyways, so that's not a problem. Um, the gravel that we're producing, I'm going to pulverize it one more time with a pulverizer right here, and the input will be from the right. The out main output is to the left, and the secondary output is to the behind. That secondary output is flint, so let me go ahead and put a black hole unit back here that holds flint. And then over here, we will uh, have our sand, and I'm going to send that sand, sand to a redstone furnace, and that will cook that sand up to make glass. Now, let me see, why is this not, fun okay, there it goes. It is functioning now, and I have a black hole unit that will hold the glass back here. So as you can see, I'm now producing stone, cobblestone, sand, flint, and glass. Um, using this setup, and there are other ways you could do this, but uh, using thermal expansion machines, I'm using ADRF per tick, which isn't very much power. It's a lot less power than I'm generating right behind here with these windmills from, I think, Mechanism. Um, but as you can see, this system works pretty well. It should run just about all the time, and I will have uh, pretty much infinite stone, cobblestone, flint, sand, and glass from this system. So anyways... Uh, and that is how you automate cobblestone, stone, sand, flint, and glass, all with one small little footprint using just a little bit of energy. If you feel like you learned something today, feel free to drop a like. And if you are interested in learning more about automation in modern Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 08, and I will see you next time.